All right, we're going to explain the workplace instructions for 6A factors and multiples. So each pair, each player need, um, pair of players needs two colored pencils, different colors. So I would suggest playing this with a parent or an older brother or sister, or maybe if you have a twin. Um, and this would be a great game to, to play. One person gets one color and um, somebody, their partner gets the other color. And you just need one of those uh, copies to share. I will put a copy of it on um, uh, uh, as a PDF if you want to print another one too. So here's instructions. So you just choose who's player one and player two. So player one chooses a target number on the game board and then circles it. This is the number represented by player one's point for this round. So don't worry, this is going to sound a little confusing at first, but then when I, when I show it to you, it's going to be a little easier. Okay, so then the player two uses a different color and circles all the factors of that target, but not including the target number itself, though. And then uh, player two adds those together, and that's his or her sum. And I'm going to give you a for instance here. So if you look right here, say Shane, player one, chooses 14. Right on here, um, let me just get my pointer on here. So it, Right here is where Shane's going to circle his, and he has 14 points. Now, Can is the second, and she's going to choose a different color. And what she's going to do is the rainbow factors uh, for that number. So 1, 14, 2, 7. She can't choose 14 again here, though. She can't do that one, but she's going to look for all those other ones. So she has... This one, the one, two, and seven. So Shane's going to start off with his 14 points. And Can is going to start off with one plus two plus seven, which is 10. OK, so then you switch. Then Can is going to do, do it. And then Shane's going to get all the factors back and forth. So you're going to right away, you're going to think, oh, the bigger number. Um, is going to be an advantage, but sometimes, and then you're going to also look for ones that, that don't have as many um, factors into it. it. Might might be more of a prime number that'll give you an advantage to uh, to get that bigger number. All right, so all right, so then a after a uh, completed a turn, if a player realizes he missed a factor, he cannot go back. So you just keep going back and forth there until you cannot play anymore. No further play could be done and then whoever has the most points um wins this is the winner so if you look at here whoever has the most points wins so let's just do a really quick a really quick one i'm not going to go too far into this so we got harry versus ron so harry's going to start he's player one so Harry is going to sit there and say mm, i'm going to choose one one of these as my target number so let's look at, let's pretend he's going to go with 10. So right away, he starts with 10 points. And then Ron here has to find out and do the rainbow factors for 10. So 1, 10, 2, 5, not three or four, so it's one, two, five, ten. So he's gonna he can't use this ten again because Ron or Harry has that one. So Ron gets to circle one, two, and five. Then he adds that up. One, three, eight. So he has eight points. Okay, so now Ron gets to choose one. So he's going to, let's go with, he's going to be a little tricky here. Let's go with 13. So Ron gets 13 points. Harry's got to do the rainbow factor for 13. One, 13. Two, nope, it's not an even number. Three, nope. Four, nope. Five, nope. Oh my gosh, it's a prime number. So he only gets the one 
here because 13 is already taken for for uh, Ron. So Harry's up to 11 points now. Ron has 21. He's in the lead so far. All right, so Harry kind of is going to go get a big, try a bigger number now too. So let's just go with 25. He's like, hey, oops, that's the wrong color. So I would undo that. He gets a 25. So he's sitting there going, okay, I get 25 points. That's pretty good. I'm catching up a little bit here. So I'm up to 36. Okay, so now Ron's got to do his, his rainbows. One. 25 two nope because it's uh it's not an even number three mm -mm, four nope five times five six nope seven nope eight nope nine nope okay ten nope so we got all those other ones so all it really he has is one five twenty five however that twenty five is already taken by Harry so he can do the one and the five the one's already taken and the five's already taken so he has no points poor Ron this is going to go back and forth until you cannot play and any more and then at the end, you, you just uh, add up your points. Do the rainbow factors, though. Prove what you're, but if your parents don't know what rainbow factors are, show them rainbow factors. All right, have fun with it. Um, and then I'll come back after this and go over some more lessons. This is not it. We're going to be doing some uh, workbook pages at, uh, afterwards.